Welcome back. In the previous tutorial, after we recorded a macro, we entered the Visual Basic Editor, we saw the code, and we concluded that it uses a couple of keywords, and it's quite logical to read through. But wouldn't it be great and a big plus to our understanding of macros and VBA code if we could run each line of this code individually and see the changes live in the workbook? Yes, we can do that by using the F8 shortcut. So let's get started. So last time we recorded a macro, let me close this editor, called my favorite format. And at the end of the tutorial, using the developer tab and Visual Basic, we entered and saw inside the code and saw how it was recorded. Since we are here with the Visual Basic Editor, there are four parts of it. First of all, there is the ribbon here on the top with the menus and the shortcut bar. There is the project window here where we find our objects and modules. There is the properties window here where we can, for example, change the name of a module. And there is the editor itself where we can see the red, um, recorded code as well as we can type here a new code. For finding our macro, we have to do a bit of searching through these objects here. And the first step is close all the unnecessary Excel files so that you have here, for example, I only have the file and the personal LSB open. The second tip is that the macro will be generally in a module. So therefore, you can click on the minus sign here to minimize or hide this window and keep only the module. Now, the third thing is where did we save our macro. We save it into the personal LSB. Okay, so we don't need this one. And the macro is in the modules. So in order to open and see what's inside of a module, I can double click. In module one, there is nothing. In module two, I have two macros. Now notice the code here that it's starting with a sub, a keyword. Then there is the name followed by two brackets. Then I have my code. And then there is the end sub and here as well. So my macro was called my favorite format and I can see the name here. And now, last time what we did was to go to macros, select the macros from here and click on the run. So the equivalent of doing that inside this window and let's go back to the macro itself. Would it be to click inside anywhere inside of the macro and use this button here, the play or F5 shortcut? Now, if I am outside of the macro, this will work like this. It's not an issue. It will just prompt me to select one of the two macros. But if I click anywhere inside, the lines of the code after pressing play will be executed from the first line until the end, no matter where I click. And then I can only see the, all the changes afterwards in the file. But there is a way to run each line of the code with using F8. I can click anywhere in the file. It will start always with the first line. So I go F8. And what does it mean? It means I am ready to run this highlighted line. I didn't run it yet, but I will run it after you press again F8, all right? So at this point, if not done already, please open the workbook, open the editor, and follow along each step here, so that will be uh, of a more value to you. Now, since I press again F8, it means I just run the line or the lines above, and now I'm ready to use this, uh, to run this line. Uh, so, so far we just started the macro, so no changes. And now when I press again F8, it see that something maybe was done. And I, if I open the file, I can see now what that instruction did, which was to select until the A1.
All right, so now running the line above, font bold true, and I can see all the examples were made with bold, and if I type something new here, it will be still bold. All right. So this is how I go line by line with F8. And it selected me, should have selected the columns, yeah. Then the next one. Okay, let me see what did it do. It made the out of it. And one by one, you run, you see the changes. So now I think he went to A1. Yeah, he selected A1, the macro, and finally put the filter. Yeah, so I can see, I run the code, I can see what it does. And now, by doing that, I can either test the macro or get a big understanding of each line. And for example, I understand now that if I use this syntax, dot auto filter, I can create my own code or I can use it as a part of my a record, another recorded macro just to enter as a new instruction, for example. So I understand more of the code and I have more power as well to write and to use it. All right, so now let's run again with F8. And um, there are three options as well. So when you run the macro with F8, you can run it line, you will run it line by line. But at this point, the first option is what we did. Either you continue to press F8 to run line by line, or you can simply choose that you want to run all the code here up to the end. Uh, therefore, you press play, right? And the third option is that you stop here. So you want to reset your code and you press the stop button. What does it do is that all the macro will be run until uh, the uh, highlighted instruction and all the changes will be done in the file and of course like with every other macro these changes cannot be undone and um, you choose to stop here and just run a portion of the code so you got three options either run all either run one by one or stop at the specific point in the code and before moving on i want to show you a valuable trick so sometimes it makes sense to run a big portion of the code especially if you have a bigger code especially in the beginning if you'll start to declare the variables so you want to run a big portion and stop at specific and break big basically at specific point and you can do that so let's say that i want to run until uh, the auto filter right so i can do that i'm going here on the gray part, just left click and it inserted a break. And the equivalent of doing that with a shortcut would be to be inside of the line and pressing F9. All right, so what does it do is that it will run the macro from the beginning through this line. Now, at this point, I can choose either to you uh, run the macro with F8 line by line or continue with F5 and run the uh, rest remaining of the macro. So let me stop here for the moment. And we can have as many breakpoints as we want. Um, and in order to remove them, simply click on the circle, left click, left click. All right, so in this tutorial, just to recap, we saw Again, where to find the macro? We had a look at the Visual Basic Editor and all the four uh, main parts of it. We went through the code with F8. We concluded that we have the option to run it with F5 entirely or to stop. And we inserted as well breakpoints. In the next tutorial, we will be reviewing how to insert a cool uh, button so that you can run your macro in just one click. Now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video if you like it. 
and don't hesitate to subscribe so that you don't miss out on Excel tricks that will help you to work faster, better and smarter in Excel.